Situation 1. Introducing people. Good morning. My name's Booker. Tim Booker. Isn't that someone from Amira SA in Mexico? Let's talk to her. I think she's called Nettle. Sally Nettle. She's in the marketing department. Good morning. My name's Booker. Tim Booker. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sally Nettle. How do you do? I'm from the Allen Corporation, in California. I'm in the sales department there. I'm from Amira SA, in Mexico. I'm in the marketing department. Pleased to meet you. May I introduce my friends? This is Jean Parks, from London. She works in the accounts department. Hello, Jean. And this is Terry Mills. He's a colleague of mine. We're colleagues, from the same department. Pleased to meet you, Terry. And your friend? This is Patty Wild. She and I work together. Nice to meet you. Situation 2. Asking friendly questions. How's life? Fine, thanks. How's life with you? Oh, fine, thanks. Everything okay? Yes, thanks. Everything's fine. How's business? Oh, not bad. Okay. Too much work. Too little money. You know. But, well, how's business with you? Oh, not bad, either. We're quite busy for this time of year. How's the family? They're all well. And yours? They're fine, thanks. How's your boss? Oh, he's very well. Working hard, as always. Situation 3. Saying goodbye. I'm going now. Good night, then. Good night, and thanks. Will I see you tomorrow? Yes, I'll see you tomorrow. Do you enjoy the evening? Thanks for a lovely evening. And you? I enjoyed it very much. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. And you? See you tomorrow. Yes, see you tomorrow. Situation 4. Talking about jobs. We want to advertise for an engineer. What? An electronics engineer. Someone with a background in electronics. With a what? Someone with experience in electronics. Someone who's worked in electronics. A background in electronics. Okay. To work where? He will be based in Rome. Based? The office is in Rome. Sometimes he has to travel, to go to other parts of Italy. Based in Rome. Okay. Salary? The salary will be up to $40,000 a year. That's good salary. Anything else? Then there are the working conditions. Working conditions. Yes. Good? The working conditions are first class. And the living conditions are excellent, too. Salary, working conditions, living conditions. Situation 5. Describing an office. It has four parts. What's the part where you come in? A reception area. That's about 3 meters by 4. What's that? 12 square meters. Then there's a big room, for meetings. What's that called? A conference room. That's 6 meters by 5, which makes 30 square meters. Then there are two rooms for working. Those are called offices, and they're about 3 meters square each. That's what? 9 square meters each, so a total of 18 square meters in all. Then there are the toilets, and the place for making coffee and cooking. 
a kitchen. It's very small. It's kitchenette. How big is it in total? 12 plus 30 plus 18 square meters. In all. That's about 60 square meters in all. It's near the station. Near the banks, near the shops. It's in the center of town. There are car parks, and bus stops. In other words. Situation 6. Jobs and Nationalities. Baker's Spanish. And Mr. Watanabe. He comes from Japan. He's Japanese. What does he do? He works in business. He is a businessman. And Green? He hasn't got a job. He is out of work. He is a teacher from America. His wife's Swiss and works in an office. What's he doing? He is looking for a job. What sort of job? A job as a teacher. And his wife? She's from Switzerland. She's Swiss. Is she out of work, too? No, she's got a job. She works in an office. She's an office worker. So the wife is an office worker. Situation 7. Telling the time. What time is it? It's about 5.30. When's the train? They use the 24-hour clock here. Oh, that thing. I can never understand it. Nor me. Look at this. 1700. What's that? 17. That's 5. 5 o'clock. Try 1740. 540. 20 to 6. 1850. What's that? 650. 10 of 7. 10 to 7. In America you say 10 of 7? We say 10 to 7 and 10 of 7. We say both. In Britain we only say 10 to 7. What about 1910? What do you say for 1910? 10 past 7. And you? We say 10 past, as well. But we also say 10 after 7. 10 after? Situation 8. Seeing the town. Driver, are you disengaged? Please, take me to High Batrung Street. Oh, yes, I'd love to. I want to see the town. What is the charge by the kilometer? Only one dollar, sir. Please take me to all that is worth seeing in this town. Yes, sir. Where can I buy a guidebook? All at the cross. Where is the post office? City's post office is near by the church. And where is the museum? Here, sir. I want to send a letter. What time is the post office closed? It is closed at 11 p.m. Situation 9. Taking a flat. Michael, do you know where the house for rent is? I want to rent a flat for a week. All right, I will take you there. M, on which floor do you want? I should like a room on the first floor. Please go this way. Is the telephone in? Oh, yes, of course. It is furnitured and comfortable. I'm sure it please you. Oh, thank you. Situation 10. Interviewing. What's your name? Simon Jackson. How old are you? I'm 30. Where do you come from? What's your nationality? I come from London. I'm English. What are your qualifications? What certificates or diplomas have you got? I have a certificate in business studies. How long did you study? Two years. Where was that? At the Technical College. Qualifications, a certificate in business studies, two years, at a technical college. What experience have you got? 
How long have you worked? I've got three years experience in business. What's your present job? I haven't got a job. I'm unemployed. Well, what was your last job? My last job was in insurance. I was an insurance clerk. How long were you there? Three years. Are you married? Yes, I am. Have you got any children? No, no children. Do you like traveling? Yes, I do. Do you speak any foreign languages? Well, school French and German. Well, thank you. I'll let you know.